hello glory family gangs how are you guys doing today as for me i'm doing great thank you for asking guys before we get into this video if you're just coming in and you're just watching this video right now help me to turn that like button to blue like it before you start watching okay so today's video is going to be all about cooking i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my nigerian party jollof or nigerian jollof as people know it is yeah is a popular food that even people who are not nigerian love and they make it so i even have a friend who is from uganda and yeah they love my nigeria party jollof and i told them how to make it as well so i said why why don't i just make this um uh video of how to make nigerian jollof for those of us who want to know how to make Nigerian jollof and you don't know how to go about it. It's simple and easy. So guys, keep on watching this video. I'm not going to be saying anything. It's going to be brief and detailed on how to make the jollof, how to prepare it. So guys, keep watching. So these are the things or ingredients that you will need for your jollof rice. So the first thing we are going to be doing I finished washing up my um, turkey. Uh, you can use turkey, you can use meat, you can use chicken, beef, anything you want to use. But uh, on this particular video, I choose to go with uh, my turkey because, yeah, that's what I like to use. That's what my family likes to use. So, first of all, I'm going to be seasoning um, the turkey. As you can see, I already have water there. I was such in a hurry. Um, I, pu I put in the water. Normally, I will not put, I will not add water uh, when seasoning my meat or chicken or turkey. But I added the water. I added the water because I'm going to be using the water to cook the rice. So I will not be putting um, um, plain water. The uh, turkey stock or chicken stock will be uh, just like a replacement of uh, the water. So as you can see, I'm just trying to steam it all up. I added water, onion. You can see the ingredients on the screen. I added nutmeg, ginger, chicken seasoning, salt, season cube, um, onion, curry, and thyme. So we we'll just let that to to boil for some minutes, and we we'll move over to blending the other things. So the next thing I'm doing now, I'm using, as you can see, I uh, will be using the mixer to blend the onion um and the uh, red um scotch bonnet pepper and some tomatoes together and if you like you can also add um, paprika to it but it's optional it's not a must whatever works for you with or without i mean with or without your paprika you can still um do your nigeria um party love and it will come out perfectly so i only added a little bit to mine that's why you see that it's not that red but yeah the um tin tomatoes will cover up everything so here is the turkey the turkey is ready now set to go i'll just um take it out from the from the water and i'll just store it later for and keep it for a while for frying and i will store the water in the fridge or anywhere and just put it in a bowl and then we'll move to the next thing so the next thing we're going to so the next thing we are going to be doing is to um boil the tomatoes you remember the tomatoes we blended earlier together with the onions and the paprika so we are going to put it to boil now to dry up while boiling and then move to the next thing so let's move to the next thing the next thing is to put the the rice to boil so right now i'm i'm going to put the rice to parboil for five or ten minutes i think five minutes will do five minutes will just do or depends on how you like it i don't right i don't like my rice over boiled or too soft when i finish cooking so that's why i just parboil it for five to six or seven minutes not up to ten minutes though so i'm just putting in the water right now and mixing it up and then i'll just cover it to to boil 
So the tomatoes is still boiling. The tomatoes the um, I put to boil is still boiling, and we'll finish boiling the chicken. Um, I mean the turkey. So right now, every these ones we just go inside and we'll start frying the tomatoes. So right now I have my pot on fire with um, vegetable oil. I add in some vegetable oil and and some freshly chopped um, onion. I will allow it to fry a little bit. Um, then I, before I put in my thin tomatoes, my paste tomatoes, because that's what we want to fry right now before we put in anything. We just fry the tomatoes before putting in the tin tomatoes before any other thing so right now as you can see we have in the uh, tin tomatoes I'm just putting them in I'm just putting it in I'm scooping it with my spoon putting it in then I'll turn everything together to mix with the onion and the oil before allowing it to fry after mixing it, I'll just cover it up to to fry, to cook, to do his own thing before we we'll try to put in any other thing. So now the tomatoes um, is finished um, cooking. As you can see, there is no more water. Everything is dry and good. It's good to go right now and we'll just start to add it into the paste tomatoes right now that i've already fried now i've added it to it as you can see and i will just mix it together mix it together yeah it's so simple i will mix it together very well and after mixing it very well then i would add up the other things I need to add up to it so right now after adding um, the tomatoes now I added all the ingredients I added thyme, maggi cubes, jollof seasoning, bay leaf, ginger, nutmeg, curry powder and of course salt to taste and yeah I'll just add everything up if there is any one of the ingredients you do not like or you don't have you can do it just um, the way you like but so long as the tomatoes are well cooked and we have fried I think everything will work just fine, will work just fine. and yeah after frying it up as you can see it's already looking delicious I will just pour in the meat stock that's the chick, uh, turkey stock that I cooked, the turkey, the water from the turkey. That's what I put in and I stir it up together. Yeah, after say, stirring it up together, I will just, um, so I will just cover it to boil for a, a little bit before I pour in the, the rice and you can add up water from here if your turkey or chicken stock is not enough so mine was not enough I had to add uh, more water to it before putting in the rice so as you can see right now I'm putting in the rice it's just so simple it's just so simple I'm putting in the rice and I will stir it together I will stir, I will stir the rice to mix everything together properly properly mix everything together and yeah we are good to go after mixing it up then I will just um so after mixing it up I will try to mix it like thoroughly mix it make sure everything to allow any white rice to be left out mix it properly to make sure the tomatoes and the rice is well mixed together so after mixing it up I will just um, cover up the the pan but before I cover it up I will just um, first of all Normally they put um, those um, foil, but I think um, foils are not healthy um, since I had it's dangerous to want health. So I choose not to use um, my aloe foils. So I choose not to use um, aluminium uh, paper, the foil. 
so because i heard it's not healthy so i just decided to stay away from that so what I'm, i'll be using to cover up the rice before i put uh, the pan uh, lid on to cover up i'll be putting my uh, plastic bags i use in my freezer they are used to store things in the freezer those are the ones i went for i'll just use it to cover up the pots before i cover it up with the with the pan and let it um, sit for about 10 15 to 20 minutes depending on how soft your rice is and then it's ready to be served it's all ready to be served after that so guys as you can see it's super super easy nigeria um, jollof nigeria party jollof is so easy to make although every family in Nigeria or every family all over the world they have their own recipe they have their own way they make the rice and um, this particular rice this is my own recipe of how I make mine because you know a family can go with another um, method and yeah another family goes with another method so this is my own method my own recipe of how I make my Nigeria jollof I hope it's helpful and I hope you like it if not or if you if yes just kindly tell me what you think below the co um, comment section i will reply to every comment because whenever i see your comment guys it makes me so happy it makes me happy guys keep the comments coming okay, any question you have i will be glad and if you have any question about this recipe or videos of me or any other videos you want to see just Feel free to comment it in the comment section. I will reply and the ones I'm able to do, I will surely do for you guys. Thank you so much. As you can see, I'm serving my rice with my turkey and I'm, I'm going to be eating because, yeah, I can't even wait to test it. I'm even eating it right now already, as you guys can see. So, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and like and if you've not joined this family already, please join. What are you waiting for? If you have been watching my videos and you've not subscribed, can you subscribe? Hit the red bell notification. Keep notification bell on. And yeah. So that's because if you subscribe and you don't keep notification bell on, you won't be seeing videos of us. So just kindly keep it on so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Okay, thank you so much. We really, really appreciate you. And yeah, we are going to see you in our very next video. And guys, please don't forget to share this video. Share the video, share to a friend, share to a sister. It might help someone. It might be of use to someone. Share it and make this channel known to other people, okay? Don't just subscribe alone. Share, you know? Share it with someone. I thank you so much. We're going to see you on our very next vlog. Bye.